euthanize. Put a living being, especially a cat. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a moment. Let me get, clear that out. Especially a cat or a dog to death, humanely. What's up, guys? CJ back for Kung Fu Night, and I am back for some Attack on Titan. Uh, we had two episodes drop this past Sunday that I could not get uh, around to watching. I had some exams this week that I had to take care of, and I am just now getting around to it. So if you enjoyed these reactions, feel free to hit the like button. It really helps the channel grow and helps with the algorithm for the channel. But we got a lot to talk about and a lot to see. Uh, we left off with the Children of the Forest last time. Uh, and Aaron is sitting with Gabby, Mikasa, Armin. Pretty much the Jaegers have taken over the mansion where everybody's been hiding out and they halted at dinner. <laughs> that was already going very poorly with uh, Sasha's family and Kaya. So let's see what the fuck is going on with Aaron because I'm still like, what the fuck is happening? Links in the description for Patreon tiers if you're interested in any of the other shows. If you want to get ahead, full and uncut reactions out for that. Uh, remember to subscribe, and I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get right into it. Bro, this dude had the wildest timing in this moment just now. What the fuck? Even Mika says, like, dude. Right back where we left off. <laughs> Yo, look how you look at that Mikasa, bro. Really, bro? Why wouldn't it be his free will? Oh, no! I don't know about that, man. No fucking way. Him and Annie kind of had a thing before. So all that was just luck and the right trigger word? You have been like crazy strong, like, and. Oh, the fucking verbiage, the livestock. He's hated that his whole life. What the fuck? What are you doing? Mikasa! She just... My God. Fucking hit his... Oh! Oh! Not the wine! Aaron, why you gotta be so fucking heartless, man? Come on, Armin! God damn. God! Put your hands up! She has a name. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Abby. Bro, the livestock line from season one. Hell a call back on that, bro. What? Hello? <laughs> Fuck! This motherfucker! How many are turning? God damn, we've really never seen this live. This is so cool, but so fucked up. Were they out of range? Or do they have like a... Do they know what's happening? They feel it? Damn. God, and you have abnormals and it's just, just like a random dude that just happened to hit that. That's so crazy. They all beg for it too, bro. Damn. So they all had it. Did anybody, did anybody not take a drink other than Levi? Nice. Big jaw, motherfucker. <laughs> ain't thick enough. No way, bro. He ain't going out like that. Please explain your damage intentions. 
I'm going back. I really want to go back. Remember? He's looking for Zeke, so how's he? Let's go! You ain't getting out that easy, bro. Let's fucking go. You ain't getting that. Oh, you transform him! Let's go! You cannot take Levi! You cannot take Levi, bro. What you gonna do? You gotta throw something. Many loves his baseball. What? Oh, this, this soundtrack is dope. Oh! Come on, he did. Oh! <laughs> Sit there and read the pages, bro. You have no chance in this, Zeke. He's always crushing shit and throwing shit. Oh, are those Thunder Spears? Bro, are you done already? You didn't remember from fucking season three? Oh, this is real now. This ain't fake. Yeah, we gotta have somebody eat you, bro. Yo, watch that like, Zeke will have end up having some justified motivation for doing what he's doing. Hey, our boy's back. Bro, they don't care, man. Look, they're just chilling. I thought you shot him for a second. Please, Shady, just, just body this fool, man. Really? Flunk is a fucking little bitch, man. Bro, I'm just like 10 of them on the ground. Fuck, come, come on, man. Damn. Well, I'm sure Shady's put up a fight. I was hoping to see like 15 other <laughs> their bodies just down there and him finally just kind of hanging on. And <laughs> oh! I love this, but I still want to know why. His body looks nasty, bro. I hate trypophobia, man. Don't give him those glasses. Don't give it to him. Might have something sharp. Remember how Annie did that shit? She like cut, had some metal. Who is this? Really, bro? He's gonna act like he's trying to destroy paradise, though. He's trying to have the whole outside world cut, or is he trying to bring them here, start the rumbling? Maybe I don't know. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be something with the rumbling. Maybe that's his secret plan. Oh, is this the old beast titan? Hell yeah. Oh, he He's just struggling to be a warrior. He just wants to play, but... What I feel like this is training, you know, since a beast type likes to throw shit, you know what I mean? I think he's had his eye on him for a little while. Imagine how many people you're gonna kill when you throw things like this. Let's start training at an early age. Mm, more of a science guy. Ah, uh, they were trying to get him in, right? But he's struggling. Now, if y'all gonna have this conversation, you need to close the damn door, bro. Come on, man. Y'all, how stupid of a re like? Can you be about putting a revolution together? Damn, putting so much pressure on this kid too, bro. No wonder you turned your ass in. God. 
Damn, bro. Look at this a look of terror, bro. This puts so much pressure on him, man. Fuck, Grish is fucking up out here, man. I want to know what he knows, bro. Is this the way he got in? This is how he got in. He was a lot older than I remember him being. He's going to freak out. 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 It's so crazy how they just make it seem like so much more extreme or overpowering coming from Zeke's perspective. Like they make Grisha just seem like he needs to chill out based on Zeke's perspective. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. Wow. It was his idea. That's so crazy. It makes sense because like for Zeke to be able to come in with that on his own as a kid and have the balls to do it, it's a, it's a hell of a pretty outlandish. Hey, there's the crew. Wow. Is that what he's trying to do? Is that why he's trying to? Wow. Oh, shit, man. That's so fucked up. Save the world by killing all Eldians, pretty much, by committing genocide. Rationalizing the genocide by ending, with ending their suffering, and saving the world by killing all Eldians, killing a race. Maybe whenever he takes over the Beast Titan's power, he takes over the attributes, right? It says it, I think he said it changed the body and like he can't see as well, maybe. Damn. Is Aaron, does that mean Aaron's trying to kill all of the Eldians too? If he's in line with Zeke? So this is where they finally met when Aaron was over in Marley. Euthanization is what they're calling it. See, that's gotta fuck with you. Okay. Wow. There's no greater sal salvation than never being born because it's so fucked up. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Founding Titan and Royal Blood. You're gonna kill everyone! Okay, so Levi knows. Fucking 
and the horses always get it, bro. What the fuck? That was in his side? God damn it! Fuck! <laughs> Had to do that. Euthanize. Put a living being, especially a cat. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a moment. Let me get, clear that out. Check this out. Euthanize. To put a living being, especially a cat or a dog, to death. Humanely. <sighs> that is what that is. Zeke, that's what Zeke wants to do. That's Zeke's plan. Eldians have suffered, and they have terrorized for 2,000 years, Titans have, and people have died, so we just need to kill all Eldians. Because, sarcasm, because once you kill all Eldians, all suffering on Earth will definitely stop. No one else is gonna die or suffer if you kill all Eldians. Come on, man. That's your fucking plan? <sighs> but all the same, this, this is the product whenever you have um, kids that are indoctrina in indoctrinated. This is what happens when you have kids that are indoctrinated into such a fucked up system and way of thinking. Um, and they will start to uh, resent who you, you know who they are or their culture or different things like that and come up with this solution come up with with a solution like this like it's so fucked okay i think most of the chips are out of the bag at least when it comes to intentions here okay there's one episode left for this half of the season 15 episodes after that. And still we still have a ways to go. God, and things fucking blew up. I forgot. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to wrap up my thoughts in a coherent way here. And talk about some of the new things that we learned. We had old Beast Titan. Uh Cyber. I don't know. Uh other dude with the glasses. And his fucked up past. And you know, he is pretty much the source for all of Zeke's knowledge, right? Um, we didn't hear anything about any type of control, right? I wanna focus on what Aaron claimed about Armin last two episodes ago or whatever. Um, we didn't see any evidence of Zeke being controlled by the previous Beast Titan. Yeah, there's similarities, I guess. Him needing glasses, them doing similar stuff, but I think it's a legacy kind of thing where like, I mean, that guy took Zeke under his wing for the longest time. He saw, I saw him as a fatherly figure in a way. He spent time with him. He didn't try to force, he, 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 he empathized with Zeke whenever he was struggling with the pressure that his parents were putting on him and the way it was it was like there was conditional love if, if he struggled if he didn't do as well he could hear how mad that they were and how desperate they were the other passion about their cause and stuff but it, it was just wild seeing seeing things from zeke's perspective and and how it can uh how they could come across as all the more extreme they being grisha and dina you know they applaud him whenever he you know kind of caught on to their way of thinking but uh if um i don't know if he thought it, if he struggled or thought a different way then they would withhold or lash out or different things like that uh, that's what you call domestication um of children and to get them into a certain way of thinking sad thing is uh, zeke got indoctrinated and domesticated entirely another way so anyway like zeke and reiner and bertolt's conversation once zeke first got to the island 
and how he just discovered that Grisha was still alive. They thought he was dead this whole time, right? Um, this is so, so well written. Hajime, again, hats off. Hats off to you on that. I'm still surprised that Aaron just got on board with the annihilation of the Eldian race that easily. The euthanization. Maybe Aaron is still a slave. You know how he was trying to call out Armin for being a slave to Berthold. If what he's saying is true about Armin, how can it not be true about Aaron? How can he not be controlled by either the owl or maybe uh, like uh, whoever held the attack titan before that? Like, I don't think they were Marleyan at that point, right? I think the owl is... Was he might have been the only attack titan during? No, there had to be other ones, because it's only thirteen years. There had to have been other ones, because Marley was like in power or had been in control of the titans for a number of uh, maybe like a hundred years or something like that. So, uh, eh, a couple hundred. I don't know. I forget that. Forget the timeline. Uh, I'm just surprised Aaron got on board with it that quickly. I'm waiting for the moment that. Aaron and Zeke finally touched and what that would mean. I, I want to go back to season three and see what happened whenever Aaron and, and Historia touched. I think Historia might have a big, big role here in the what's left of this series. She has, she has a child. She has a child. Forget about that baby. <laughs> think about this. Ooh. What if we're near the end of all this big, big shit's happening? People are dying. I don't know. There's a final battle for sure. And Aaron or somebody needs to find someone with royal blood and say Zeke gets fucked up or whatever. His story is fucked up. The baby's still there. They run to the house, touch the baby, <laughs> royal blood, and, act and it activates. I don't know. I'm just spitting balls here. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> um. Uh, did I forget anything? Last thing, uh, uh, Zeke blew things up at the very end there. He moved around quite a bit. There's a thunder spear in his side. It blew up. He could be blown and he could still be alive. Reiner took like, Reiner had his head chopped off and he was fine. Z Zeke can transfer his consciousness in some way, shape or form. Probably like Reiner, he'll do it instinctively, of course. <laughs> But he might be okay. I'm not writing Zeke off yet till I see a body, bro. Um, his last his last words before that explosion was like, "Oh, Saver, I don't know, previous Beast Titan, you're watching or something like that. We're gonna euthanize this shit. This is happening." Um, really, bro? You blew up the Thunder Spirit just to say that? Whatever, man. He has his convictions. However fucked up that they may be, in my opinion. I'm gonna close out this reaction, you guys. If you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, share, and subscribe. That bell so you know when the next Attack on Titan reactions are coming out. We got one coming out here this, this upcoming Sunday. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy the content like this video. Uh, Patreon tiers are out there. If you're interested in getting ahead on any of our other shows, uh, check it out. Links in the description. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right. Peace.